Hello everyone, Emily here. I hope everyone's doing well and is happy and healthy. I'm really happy to be here with my Premier puzzle. My granddaughter gave me um, a couple of these skeins. I have two in green and two in blue for Christmas. And so I wanna make myself something with it and I thought I'd make me a throw. And I gotta tell you, I was super duper excited. Someone answered, uh, wrote a comment on one of my videos and asked me to make a blanket in double crochets and that she loved me and that just tickled me and I had to tell everybody I know. So I'm gonna do this in double crochets. This is really pretty. So I hope mine comes up as beautiful. I did make my daughter-in-law a blanket for Christmas that I already gave her and I used all different colors. It was really gaudy. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. So this does ask you to use it recommends a six millimeter and that's what i'm going to use it's a j and let's go ahead and get started and i'm using my hook here that lights up i really like using it so i'm just going to pull out my middle got me a whole bunch of yarn barf i love this color and this yarn is so extremely extremely soft now this uh Permera puzzle you can get it at walmart and i gotta tell you i don't think it's very expensive at all um, i've seen it there i've bought it before i think it might be like six something a skein and i think that's really a great price this is a bulky five so i'm going to tie my slip knot And I'm going to put it on my hook. Now, you're just going to go ahead and make a chain. It can be a number of any amount. And you just want to make it however wide or long you want your blanket to be. So, if you do it this way, it's going to be the width. If you, like, hold it to your head, to the ground, that's going to be your length. So we're just going to grab our yarn and bring it through. I'm not pulling it tight as I do it. I'm just doing a few and then I move my finger up to hold it. Because again, I like to be in charge of my yarn. Holding my, my uh, yarn pretty loose. So it just moves right through my fingers. It takes a little bit to get used to because I got these two here holding it for the tension. This does just take a little bit to get used to, but you can hold it any way that you're comfortable with. Not everybody crochets the same. So go ahead. I think I'm gonna do mine widthwise. I like to do mine widthwise, and then when I'm sitting in my chair crocheting, I can cover myself with it. And I do like to make my blankets, most of the crochet blankets, is throws. So I'm by no means making something for a queen or a king size bed. Uh, double crochet is what we're going to use for the entire blanket. And it works up pretty quick because it is a double crochet. It's a very pretty stitch. And you know, when you do the double crochet, you can really change the look by going in the back loops only, going into both loops. You could just change the looks of the stitch just by, the, by changing a few things. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and let you see me start this blanket and you can start yours or just watch and then I will do an update on it when I get closer. Okay, so this is wide enough. 
so that when I'm sitting in my chair, this will hang over both the arm on each side. Alrighty. Okay, I think that's enough. So it's as long as I want. And for double crochet, usually three chains is your double crochet. So we're gonna go into the fourth one from the end. We're only gonna go into that top loop. So you can see I only have one strand. I'm gonna grab my yarn and pull it through. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, just so it's nice and loose. I'm gonna yarn over and pull it through two. And then I'm gonna yarn over and pull it through the last two. So this chain three is gonna count as a double crochet. So every time you come back to this end, you're always gonna do your last single, your last double crochet in the top of this chain three. When you come back, you'll go into the top of your double crochet. You're just gonna keep doing that on each end. So this will always be your last stitch. And yarn over, go into the next stitch. You're gonna go through only one loop, pull the yarn through, pull it up a little bit, and you know, once you get used to it, you won't have to pay a lot of attention to pulling that up. You'll just do it naturally. And this size of needle for this material, or this yarn, is working out really well because I don't feel like I'm pulling it too tight. I'm going to go in the next stitch, pull it through, pull it through two, pull it through two more. So now when I go back and forth, I'll go through two loops. And this is what I'm going to do all the way across. And it is a good idea to count your stitches so that if you ever think you might have dropped one or you don't know if that last stitch is the stitch you're going to go into, you can count them. You can use stitch markers. You can put a stitch marker on this one so that you can find your area when you get to the end. I really try hard to pay attention so that I don't need to use the stitch markers. I'm coming up here on the end. So make sure that you go into this last chain. The last chain is going to be your last stitch on this row. Three chains is for a double crochet. However, 
I don't want my ends to be all puffy, so I'm only going to chain two. So I chain two. I'm going to turn my work. And we're going to be going into both, both stitches. So this one right here is going to count as this stitch. So we're going to go into the next one. We're going to yarn over and we're going to go through both loops. Or I'm sorry, we're going to go through under both strands. We're going to grab our yarn and bring it through and do our double crochet. So now when we come back, the second chain of this, of this little end, that's where you're gonna go in for your last stitch. So this is not gonna be your last stitch. The top of the chain is gonna be your last stitch. So remember that every time you go back and forth, your last stitch is gonna go into the top of that chain. And we're only gonna chain two. And so we're gonna to continue to do this all the way across. You can see your little V's here. And we're gonna go right into the next stitch. We have two strands up on top. We're gonna to pull our yarn through and do our double crochet. This is a beautiful stitch and it's gonna be very nice and warm. The farther you go, you won't have to fight with um, your blanket moving around so much. It's a really pretty pattern and it will be nice and warm. And when I grab my yarn and bring it through, you can see it's not very tight. So I guess I've been doing this for so long, I just pull it through and it's not tight at all. I'm in my 50s and I learned to crochet when I was 13. And my grandma crocheted, but she didn't live very close and my mother could not. And so she had a friend that taught me and I would go to her house once a week and she would give me lessons, which was wonderful. So I made scarves for years. That's all I ever made was scarves. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm really excited because look at, look at the different colors. I'm really excited. It, it always excites me when I get to a new color so I can see how it's going to work and blend in. And you know, making a, a long blanket with this double crochet, as with a lot of projects, takes time. But at the end, it's so gratifying to see something that you created and made yourself. And I love to give my gifts away to people that I care about or even when I donate to the homeless just because I know someone's going to appreciate it and if I go to Goodwill or Salvation Army I see a crocheted blanket it just makes me so sad because I just think of all the work that someone put into that and all the love that someone put into it but sometimes it can't help but make it there I guess So just keep doing this all the way to the end.
there's almost one skein. This is uh, what I have left of the skein. I'm going to put this one on. And my granddaughter got me two other colors. Um, they almost don't, don't look the same, but I'm pretty sure they are. They're really pretty. It's the same kind. It's that Premier Puzzle. But this is all double crochet. Look how beautiful it is. My ends came out really nice and straight. Remember, your chain is always your last stitch. You're always going to go, you're going to chain two at the end. You're always going to go into that last stitch on the top. And the color is absolutely beautiful. Came out really nice. The pattern looks like the picture. That's what I wanted. I don't know if that's the same stitch, but it sure looks good. So I will give you an update when I get farther along. I have my um, measuring tape here. This, I made a, a, a hundred on the chain plus the uh, the three on the end and then when I crocheted into the fourth one from the end. So I have my measuring tape and lengthwise it's about a foot but I still think I might be able to get one more row out of my the rest of my skein there. And is about three feet two inches wide and when I'm in my chair I can put it on each side so I think that's a pretty good size really happy with it love the colors I think it's beautiful I'm gonna put the other skein of this green on and then I'm gonna do my two dark colors so I'm really happy with this so I hope you guys give this a try. It's a great beginner friendly blanket and you guys have a great day and I will be back soon with an update. Bye.